Rachel and welcome to this special interactive episode of NBA 2K TV. If you haven't checked out the magic of 2K TV Interactive, here is how it works. I ask the question, you answer, and if you answer correctly, then you win some VC. It's easy as that. So let's get started. Our Legend Edition cover athlete Shaq was also a cover athlete for which 2K game? Was it NBA 2K6, 2K7, 2K8? And a good third. Evening to you, two. K Sports presents the NBA with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will join us from the sidelines. We've got a Western Conference battle ready to get rolling, and this Oklahoma City crowd wants some love from their Thunder. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. The tough defending favors and Gobert make up the big men. Mitchell is out there with Ricky Rubio, and it's Ingles in at the three spot. Rudy Gobert is becoming a handful down deep. He's quick, he's confident, and he's got gorgeous touch. The pass to Finney Smith. Here's Peyton. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Seattle shooting their first free throws of the game. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And it's Utah's ball. A tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. You know, a poor shooting night. I just got the sense they didn't work hard enough to get good looks. Right, there has to be some sort of consistent effort to generate quality shots. It seemed to me they thought they were going to come easily. Now here's Peyton. And Miritich kicks to Peyton. Just five on the clock. Got a piece of it. And now running up the court. Ingles pushing it up. Here's Mitchell. Nails the wide open jump shot. Mitchell's gone one of two from three point land. Peyton kicks to Finney Smith. Out to Peyton. To the left wing. Miritich the screen. From deep three-point range, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Miritich has got himself on the board with three there. Rubio against Peyton. And Rubio kicks to Ingles. Now Gobert, stolen by Withy. To the inside. It's stolen by Gobert. Takes it from 10. That one a little long. Has to be smarter, guys. I mean, we all know he can make that shot, but the defense was in his grill. Here's Peyton. That's tipped. Miritich dishes to Peyton. Feeds it to Withy. Out to Peyton. This one for three. That doesn't go either for Peyton. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Well, there's no consistency from the field in this quarter. We'll see if he can get his shot going. Withy, no good. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Boy, that's the vision and ability to deliver precise passes. Rubio completely on point. And it's Seattle with the ball. After the basket by Utah, Miritich gets the bucket. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Boy, seizing control right away. Send a message on that possession. Here's Mitchell. He's got five. Here's Favors. And it's blocked by Miritich. And he's able to get it back. And that one's good by Favors. Seattle trails by three. 
And Miritich kicks to Peyton to the middle. Withy, Gobert with the block. An intimidating force who continues to wipe away shots with ease. Go to work, Rudy Gobert. There's the dish to Mitchell. And Favors kicks to Rubio. Favors with the screen. Shot clock at five. From deep. Rubio misses. Here's Seattle. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Miritich gets the bucket. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't D him up on the perimeter. And Utah has possession. And David Aldridge spoke with Quinn Snyder. David? Well, guys, he said he's expecting his defense on the interior to be important. He said we can protect the rim with our shot block. We want to keep them outside of the paint, but if they get inside, our ability to deny can come in handy tonight. Kevin, we'll see if he's right. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Not too surprising that he wants to see him sharp at the defensive end right from the opening tip. And, and you know, they have the ability to control a game with their D, but they have to be aggressive and send that message right away. I do believe, Greg, this team has an intimidation factor working in their favor because of the level of defense that they play. And if the stops start adding up in the first half, that factor starts to weigh on the opponent's mind. Catching up on the changes for Seattle. Spates checked in for Miritich. Johnson comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Young is subbed in for Garrett Temple. Mack, the pass to Young. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Sepalosha dishes to Rubio. And a wide open look for Hood. His three pointers off the mark. The feed now to Matt. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. And now Rubio pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Bucket is good. Rubio's got his first points of the night. Oh, when he gets out into the open court, Rubio is a very tough cover. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Now here is Cephalosha. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the former Blue Devil continues to enhance his offensive repertoire. Rodney Hood, a reliable two-way guard. Bradley's checked in for Utah. Dante Exum comes in for Ricky Rubio. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Boy, just never a good idea to give this guy too many chances at the line. He's going to cash in. And Mack picks to Young. Good, and the nice assist from Mack. I'll tell you, that's aggressive passing. Threading it down low and setting up the bucket inside. Really nice. Passes it to Bradley. And there's the foul. It'll go on Shelvin Mack. That's his first foul. On defense, Seattle trailing by two. And there's the call on Joseph Young. That is his first foul of the game. Exum with it, and Young picks him up defensively. That shot wide open. Johnson's got his first bucket in this one. Well, you love how Joe Johnson goes straight up with that shot. He doesn't hesitate for a second. Johnson goes in. The shot by Spades. Nobody around. The kick out to Young. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. That's on Dante Exum. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Utah leading by three. Here's Cephalosha. He goes up again, and there's the nice layup by Johnson. Johnson's got his second basket of the night. Well, Johnson isn't just an outside shooter. This guy is a versatile, talented scorer in the paint. The kick out to Young. Pass to Black. Shoots over Bradley. Young outside. They shoot again. Here's Black. Missed it. Even after all those chances. 
The Jazz have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And Seattle making a change here. Sepalosha hits both of them. 104 left to play in the first quarter. Young outside. And here's Johnson outside. The rebound by Johnson. Utah leading. Hood for three. Can't hit that one. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first. And that one, good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Johnson kicks to Cephalosha. For Utah, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. First free throw is good. Burks, he's checked in for Tabo Cephalosha. All free throws, good from Hood. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Dishes it to Black. Johnson outside. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And he comes up with the deuce. Here's Exum. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Outside Hood. Now, here's Exum. Back to Hood. Works with it. The Jazz with another miss. And that does it for the first quarter. Utah out in front, leading by five. And we'll be back in just... Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And the guys, what's your take on Utah... Seattle trails by five. We've got Johnson. He's out there with Spates, and it's Black in at the center. They're the group for Seattle starting the second. Yeah, I like that decision there. Didn't try to do too much, just kicked it out for the open jumper. Exum kicks to Johnson. And the call goes against Wesley Johnson. That's his first foul. Now, here's Exum, defended by Young. Bradley sets the pick for Hood. Five on the clock. Johnson against Space. And the shot is good from Johnson. Well, Kevin, we know Joe Johnson is a dynamite scorer from the mid-range. You better stay attached to him in that area. Kicks it out to Johnson. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Well, just loses his head for a moment. That's not overthinking. That's just not thinking. Big group substitution here for Seattle. With he's checked in for Tark Black. Miritich comes in for Maurice Spates. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Wesley Johnson. And it's Peyton in for Young. Mitchell, he's jumped in for Utah. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Burks kicks to Bradley. Miritich against Johnson. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Burks has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Withy kicks to Payton. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Miritich from the arc. They get the rebound. Jazz leading by five. Exum kicks to Johnson. Here's Mitchell. He has five. Here's Burks. And Utah again with the bucket. Well, you love the cleverness of Alec Burks. My goodness, how remarkable is that into the lane and finish? The pass to finish Smith. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Mitchell. 
lays it up and banks it in. And now it's a nine-point Utah lead. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. They set the pick. Here's Peyton. That one wide left. Here's Exum. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, no, exactly. That's not how you capitalize on the offensive end. You simply have to be more patient. Back to Miritich to halt the run. That shot, no good. And Utah the other way now. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. And not surprising, obviously unhappy with the lack of response from his team. And I think, Greg, he just has to get them on the same page. With this kind of lax defensive effort, something has got to change. And Seattle making a change here. Temple's checked in. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group. Gobert, he's checked in for Bradley. Favors comes in for Johnson. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Alec Burks. And Ricky Rubio's subbed in for Dante Exum. And Rubio kicks to Mitchell. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Miritich has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Feeds to Temple. Peyton outside. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after two for six start. Jazz leading by seven. And here's Rubio. Gobert of the screen. Rubio the pass to Gobert. And stolen by Peyton. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Here's Finney Smith. And the rejection by Favors. Derek Favors using that long frame to send that back twice on the pipes, Kevin. Rubio against Peyton. And Rubio kicks to Ingles. Gobert with a screen for Ingles. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Connects from three-point range. Ingles has got himself on the board with three there. Really encouraging to see Derek Favors pass like that. You love seeing him make an effort to get his teammates involved. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against Utah. Seattle shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one drops. Doris, much to the chagrin of basketball purists, we're seeing the near extinction of the mid-range game. Is there a way to reverse this trend? Kevin, I don't know that we're seeing the extinction of it, and I would point directly to the finals MVP, Kevin Durant, because if you look at some of his success, it is directly in the mid-range. Russell Westbrook has some effect in the mid-range. I mean, listen, certainly the priority is on layup and three, but I don't think we've seen the extinction of the mid-range. I think this is a cyclical type of situation in the NBA, very much the way we've gone away from a low post center. Would a player that's a next level, next generation kind of player change our thinking about that? Let's see. The game is always in a constant state of evolution. Finney Smith can't get it to go. Jazz leading by eight. And there's the foul. It'll go on Nikola Miritich. That's his first foul. Big group substitution here for Seattle. Wax checked in for Jeff Withy. Spates comes in for Miritich. Wesley Johnson's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Max subbed in for Gary Payton. Ingles dishes to Rubio. Gobert with a screen for Rubio. On the wing, Cephalosha. Another miss by Utah. Here's Seattle. Mack the pass to Spates. And the shot falls short this time. Boy, I'll tell you, he has plenty of space, but it looked like a little bit of a hitch in that release. Cephalosha, the 10-footer, finds the target. Boy, not nearly tough enough inside on the defensive end. They made that all too easy for him. Seattle calls timeout. And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. 
Payton. He's checked in for Garrett Temple. And Utah also making a switch. Woods checked in for Joe Ingles. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Spates against Hood. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Well, you love to see Rodney Hood finish in the face of that contact. How about the grit on that move? Peyton can't get that one to fall. Here's Rubio. Seattle grabs the miss. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. Mac, good. 121 left to play here in the half. And Rubio kicks to Gobert. He dishes it to Hood. And there's the foul. It'll go on Shelvin Mack. That's foul number two for him. I'll tell you, with that being a second foul, now you've got to be more careful. You can't give the officials any excuse to whistle him for number three before the end of this half. Rubio with it. Now Peyton defending from 11 feet away. And Rodney Hood again. Hood's got the lead up to 12 now for Utah. Well, don't underestimate the in-between game of Rodney Hood. This guy can make shots from just about anywhere. And the rejection by Favors. A second chance effort. And another shot. And it's laid in by Peyton. Peyton's got eight points here in this quarter. Oh, easy put back. No one got a body on it. Boy, I'll tell you, Greg, that's just inexcusable. All they had to do was box him out. You learn a lesson the hard way in that instance. And stolen by Spates. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Jazz leading by 10. Rubio left side. And Favors kicks to Hood. Back to Favors. They set the pick. Rubio with it. Now Peyton defending. There's the dish to Rubio. Gobert, the screen. Clock at four. And taken away by Johnson. Spades the pass to Peyton. And the lead is down inside single digits. Peyton's got 11. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And so it's Utah in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we'll be right back after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The first show. half in the books. This is Ernie Johnson. This is Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ken Smith. Welcome back. Ken? Ken, as we Ken. break down the action. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. They were on a nice little roll in that opening period as they got their lead up as high as seven points. Well, for Utah. And Shaq, what did you think about what we saw from Utah? Well, the offense is running on all cylinders. Guys are focused, executing, not playing outside of themselves. That's why their shooting percentage was so high. That's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get. And now the third quarter about to get going. Seattle trails by eight. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Jazz. Ingles at small four with Favors at the four. Ricky Rubio is out there with Mitch. And it's Gobert in at the five roaming the paint. Jazz leading by eight. And there's the call on Garrett Temple. That's his first foul. To the left side wing. Out of bounds. 
Seattle will take possession. Well, he's obviously anticipating different movement there, and instead of an easy connection, the pass sails straight into the front row. Here's Peyton. Miritich dishes to Peyton. The shot, no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. Rubio against Peyton, and Rubio kicks to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Well, the defense, no time to react on the Rudy Gobert throwdown. Here's Peyton, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Ricky Rubio picks one up for Seattle. They have converted four of seven free throws on the night. He's off on the second. Boy, they're slow coming out of halftime. Just 0 for 3 to start this half. The wide open look here for Ingles. And there's Favors putting it right back in. Well, that's the size of Derek Favors allowing him to snag these boards. This guy, you've got to keep him off the offensive glass, Kevin. And the rejection by Favors. Mitchell passes to Rubio. Ingles kicks to Rubio. Now here's Gobert. He's tightly guarded. Mitchell dishes to Favors. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Favors got four points in the quarter. That's three of four here to start the half. Here's Peyton, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the call. Utah the foul. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Good on the second free throw. Utah with the ball. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And Rubio kicks to Gobert. And there's the foul. It'll go on Nikola Miritich. That'll be his second foul of the game. Joseph Young's checked in for Seattle. On the wing, Ingle. And it's blocked by Miritich. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Five on the clock. Shoots from 12. Favors can't get it to go. Seattle trails by 12. Withy passes to Young. And the rejection by Favors. Fast break, here come the Jazz. Rubio's got the ball, taken away. Miritich has a wide open look. Seattle missing again. You know what though, sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him and that's why he missed. And there's the call on Garrett Temple. That's foul number two for him. A different look for Utah. Johnson comes in for Gobert. And it's Dante Exum in for Ricky Rubio. There's a screen. Kicks it to Ingles. Johnson outside. He feeds it to Mitchell. From deep. Oh, he touched it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket interference. Burks, he's checked in for Utah. Seattle calls timeout. And if you're sensing a concern, best thing you can do is call timeout. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. You've got to get this game under control. I think he sees some adjustments he can make. It's good from long range. Finney Smith's got to back down to within single digits for Seattle. Now, here's Exum, defended by Young. Ingles kicks to Burks. Ingles with the screen for Burks. The feed to Exum. Favors with the screen, pass to Burks. Favors dishes to Exum. Now, here's Burks. He's guarded closely. Pass to Ingles. Favors with the screen. Here's Burks. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. No, exactly, Greg. Especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. And the rejection by Favors. And now Utah, fast break. 
And it's Exum. That time on the assist by Burks. Exum's got his first points of the night. Well, Burke showing he's more than just a scorer. Terrific pass to his teammate. And taken away by Johnson. And oh, here we go. Burke's got it. A fast break chance. That one, no good. Seattle goes the other way with it. At the top of the key, Withy. Here's Finney Smith. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, sprinting end to end, but under control. That, that's the key. No, exactly right, Greg. You can't go too fast. He pulled that off in brilliant fashion. Catching up on the changes for Seattle. Blacks checked in for Jeff Withy. Spates comes in for Miritich. And Shelvin Max subbed in for Joseph Young. Burks kicks to Hood. Six on the shot clock. From 12 feet out. Here's Favors. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Favors has got eight points. Now, I think they'll keep going to him more and more as they look to hang on to their lead. Why not with the way this guy is shooting it? Here's Black. He kicks it to Spates. Black the pass to Matt. And stolen by Favors. And now Utah, fast break. Burks leading the charge. Got a hand on it. Well, he's trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but it's not helping his team. That was an awful quarter. Stolen by Exum. And now Utah, fast break. And the whistle blows, so a chance here. Here for a three-point play. Dante Exum quickly out into transition in the open floor. You cannot lose this guy. So both teams making some changes here. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, a rock solid 79%. And the shot is good. The Utah lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from Black. So it's Utah now. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Look, Kevin, six foot eight. Rodney Hood is so effective at getting fouled on his way up. This guy's so smart. For Utah, they have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And Utah making a change here. Rubio's checked in. Seattle calls timeout. Well, I mean, he needs to talk to his guys. The interior defense has been horrific. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. At this point, the other team is walking all over them on the inside. Seattle trails by 13. And Temple kicks to Peyton. And the three off target. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. The Jazz have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Well, we know Joe Johnson is a multi-time All-Star, and though his role has changed, he's still got that gorgeous jumper, Kev. And it's good, two points. Peyton's got four points now in the quarter. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Oh, oh no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. The Jazz have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Now, this is one of the most talked about international players ever, and I think Rubio just needs to stay healthy and keep working on that shot. To the right side. Black dishes to Johnson. Offensive rebound, Spates. Kicks it out to Johnson. Pass to Payton. Here's the screen. Tries yet again. Dishes it to Temple. And stolen by Hood. The Jazz with another miss. As long as they can hang on to this lead, he won't have to answer for what's been an off night for him. Here's Spates. And Temple kicks to Peyton, shoots the three. Here's Black, out to Peyton. There's the three. But they recover it. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Jazz leading by 12. Rubio outside. Outside favors. Outside Hood from the stripe. Count that bucket. 
Hood's got the lead up to 14 now for the Jams. Yeah, Rodney Hood not bashful about knifing into the teeth of the defense, given his quickness and length. Very comfortable operating down there. And out of rhythm offensively, but he continues to work at it. Well, you can see he's sputtering a bit, but he's trying to get going. I, I do like that he's continuing to be aggressive. Free throw good, Shafalosha. A different look for Utah. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for favors. And it's Mitchell in for Joe Johnson. And here's Seattle. Johnson right side. The pass to Black. Back to Johnson. Feeds to Peyton. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. And he just... the D in the dust and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? And if you can blame it on a terrible defensive breakdown, one that could possibly swing the momentum here. Rubio against Peyton. They set the pick. Here's Hood. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Rubio's got three assists tonight to watch Rodney Hood when he gets into a good rhythm. This guy's so versatile, so creative to get a shot off. And so it's the Utah Jazz with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Now Rubio. Peyton is out there with Garrett Temple. Then there's Maurice Spates. Then it's Johnson. And it's Black in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle. Seattle trails by 16. Now here's Peyton. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. No good on the free throw. And Seattle making a change here. Miritich has checked in. And he's good on the second. Jazz leading by 15. And Rubio kicks to Gobert. To the wing right side. Here's Mitchell. And it's blocked. Peyton outside. Black the pass to Spates. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. That will be foul number five on him. And that's going to be his fifth, guys. One more and he's done. Jeff Withy, he's checked in for Maurice Spates. And Utah also making a switch. Ingles is checked in. The dish to Black. Peyton against Rubio. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. I'll tell you, unless someone gets a hand to it, it's hard to miss the mark from that close range. He dishes it to Cephalosha. Gobert down low. Working on Black. Gobert can't hit. It's stolen by Gobert. And now Utah, fast break. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Peyton, that's good. Peyton's got nine points here in the second half. Utah leading by 13. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Rubio dishes to Ingles. Gobert with a screen on Miritich. A floater. Nice shot by Gobert. And the Jazz lead by 15. Rudy Gobert, an athletic monster. He fends off the defense with an amazing finish. They get it back, and he jams it with authority. And just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. 
Gobert the screen. Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Black grabs the board. Black's got 11 rebounds in the game. Miritich passes to Bateman. He's off on that one. Good D by Rubio. And now running up the court, Ingles pushing it up. Kicks to Cephalosha. He feeds it to Gobert. Rubio outside. Gobert with it. Clock at four. Shot off the screen. Mitchell's shot is good. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Here's Black. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Kicks it out to Rubio. Nice ball movement by Utah. There's a good screen. Gobert with a screen for Ingles. With a floater. Back to Rubio. The feed to Cephalosha. And Rubio kicks to Ingles. It's stolen. Black dishes to Temple. Count the basket. Boy, you have got to love the dime. The pass on time and on target. And here's Gobert. They get a hand on it. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. Some changes for Seattle. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tarek Black. And Max subbed in for Gary Payton. Derek Favre. Favre's checked in for the Jazz. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. Peyton, he's checked in for Seattle. Seattle trails by 13. Good job by Rubio. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. I'll tell you, they've had to look elsewhere for their scoring, and they've gotten it. This guy has had very little impact on the game offensively. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. Utah leading by 11. It's taken away by Peyton. This is what superb defense is all about, guys. He read that all the way. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Rubio, the pass to Favors. Shoots over Miritich. Another miss by Utah. And stolen by Favors. Here's Mitchell, and it's Mitchell with the jam. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Seattle calls timeout. Yeah, just ice cold right now from the floor. Time to regroup. I think, Greg, they look lost and they look frustrated. Not sure how they're missing so many shots right now. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Seattle's coach as he addressed the team. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. And he's doing stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, the, the good news, though, is they've already got the win wrapped up. He might as well sit back and enjoy this one. Yeah, and, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. It's good, and the Jazz leaders cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Temple. Boy, defender taken out of the play with a rock-solid screen. No way he's going to get through that. There's the pick. And stolen by Peyton. 
Seattle calls timeout. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Peyton's got 24 points. I'll tell you, somebody on the defensive end has got to step in and try to get a body on him there. Gobert with a screen on Peyton. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. Yeah, just a matter of he needs to be there a split second earlier. Not much room for error when you're setting a screen. On the inbound, Derek Favors with the rebound. Favors got his eighth rebound here tonight. The putback, and it's Seattle with the rebound. Here's Temple. A shot off that time. Great D that time from Favors. Hood kicks to Ingles. Unloads from 13. And he overshot that one, missing. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, starting to look like it's taking its toll mentally. He doesn't look like himself. Here's Peyton. Misses in close. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. Passes it to Favors. Mitchell dishes to Favors. The rebound by Withy. Seattle trails by nine. And Temple kicks to Miritich. He gets it in there. Really well done on that assist. He sees the target inside and puts it right into the hands. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. Three-pointer. Good! And now they trail by just four. Well, I think the best part of his tremendous three-point ability as a big man is just how much it stretches the defense. There's 42 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's taken away by Peyton. And he has a real nose for the ball right there. I mean, and that's what it takes to play effective defense in the low post. And this atmosphere is bananas. <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. Mitchell kicks to Hood. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Now, Derek Favors undoubtedly has turned himself into a dependable power forward, someone capable of averaging a double-double in the NBA. Yeah, the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game. And whatever play they run has to be quick. No time to waste. They have to score fast and then foul quickly. Good! Well, so rewarding for a player to beat everybody to the basketball and convert that second-chance bucket. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, the only chance they had was for him to miss those. Instead, he's absolutely perfect. Yes! And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound. And, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. And a strong work all around. And the rebound and the stuff ball. Wow. And so it's Utah who's scraped by with a win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. A really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.